Hey man, this is Robbie. Welcome to another episode of Hey Man Robbie's Review. Here, every episode I will be inviting special guests and their crazy builds so I could actually go over their cars and maybe even go and test drive their cars. Today I have somebody here with a crazy build and everybody's favorite car. So let's go and check out who's here. Oh snap! What do we got here today? It's a JZX 100 Mark II. This car looks sick. I would like to welcome Akimoto from <laughs> Shout Rogue, Team Shout Rogue. High vibe, air high Hi. vibe. <laughs> he also has a YouTube channel called Shout Rogue TV. He introduces his beautiful JZX 100 in it, and he does all these crazy things in his adventures. So you might want to go and check out his channel too. But JZX 100だけど、これは実はいろいろ改造してるらしいですね。Alright, so as you already know, this is probably one of the most famous body kits they have for uh, the JZX chassis. It's a BN Sports kit and it looks like it has a BN Sports hood. Why did you decide to make the car look like this and why did you decide to get this painted? Um, this dark blue color. ま、この購入に関してはえっとね、元々買った車はこの色なんですよ。特に<笑> 作った。純正のあの、モールあるじゃないですか。はい。あの上にカーボン繊維を乗っけて、えっと、エポキシ樹脂で固めて成形するとこうなる。でも本当にカーボン張りからスタート。そうです。あ、when uh, I look at the rear of this car too, this is kind of cool. I like this how he has his team name on the trunk. これはえ、YouTubeで早ピチっていうチャンネルやってるえ、YouTubeYouTuberの方がえっと。これどうですかって提案してもらって、で、あの、ステッカー送ったら、ま、こういう形でできますよっていうのでやってもらった感じですね。俺もやろう。なんかあれらしいですよ。そのステッカー貼って、えっと、やるじゃないですか。はいはい
Alright, so what ECU do you run? Computer is a 90 no Power FC. Power FC. Yes. And then, from the top, Airflow Race. The maniac point is that it's a maniac. Brake Master. Master Cylinder. It's a 80 Super 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 ちょっとケツは出しづらくなんですけどブレーキも効くしなんだろうドリフト中に向けどケツが抜けないですよねはいはいはいはいはい Wow that's crazy because I know everybody goes out and、uh, puts in brake balancers、um, because you want to actually、um, change the brake bias to something different so the front brakes don't work too much or the rear brakes、uh, doesn't work enough 多分2万円ぐらいじゃないですかこれ持ってますでボルトオンなんですかボルトオンですあとはいえっとよくありがちな尺だと多分これブローバイホースって二本来ると思うんですよねこっちにインテーク側にでこれ見た目よくさみに一本にしてるんですけど一本はまあここから出るんですけどこっから行ったやつがエンジンの真裏であのなんていうんですかバイクとかの大気開放みたいなフィルターじゃないですかあれに付け替えちゃってまあ見た目よくしてるんですよね。He takes intensive care about his car with water temp.、Um, he also has a water squirter here、uh, mounted. この水スプレーヤーは何かで連動してるんですかいやこれは自分で手動に今してますねボタンがあって押すと、まあ、押してる間ずっと駆動する形ですねいやあの水温にはすごくこだわってますね、うん、あの仕様的にはあのこんな見た目なんですけどエアコン残ってるんであの水温がすぐ上がっちゃうっていうのとあとは BL のバンパーの開口部がめちゃめちゃちっちゃいんですよね<笑><笑>なんでほぼ風が当たってないんで今また作るんですけどここにあのラジエーターフードみたいな作ろうかなと思って <laughs> See, so that's a true streetcar. He has AC. So even in a hot day, he could be waiting at the track in line and turn the AC on. And be in sports, build something that has a bigger opening. All right, so let's check out and see what's inside the car. Man, I saw this thing a little earlier, but this is nice. It's got the brid、uh, door panels, it's got brid floor、uh, mats. Both sides, it's got brid,、uh, shift knob, and e brake、uh, cover, center console cover, and brid seats. All right, so he wants to keep it simple so nothing is on his dash.、Um, he has a few meters,、um, and I believe those are defies on the passenger side that are inside the dash. でも外には上には乗せたくないですね。そうですね。だから基本的には後付けパーツは全部埋め込みにしちゃう感じが好きです。あの純正風にがしたいんですよね。なるべく。ロールバーもがっちり入ってるんですけどでもガセットも全部もうこういう感じで欲しいっていうオーダーで作ったそうですね基本的にはうんと、まあ、ここのガゼット、まあ、初めは分割機を垂らしてたんですけど、えー、とやってくれた人が、まあ、うまくバーリングして曲げもできたっていうことで両側とも1枚で作ってもらった感じですねでサイドバーにしてもえっ、ー、ともともと9万の時ダッシュ逃げっていうんですかあれつけてたんですけど、乗り降りの時邪魔でしょうがなくて当たっちゃって、だったらダッシュ貫通で、まあちょっと低めにクロスを入れて乗りやすくした感じですね。あとこだわったとこは、今ちょっとこっち外しちゃってますけど、えっとここのロールバー取れるようにして、まあタイヤを積載できるようにしたっていうところですかね。Um, also the cage is painted, it's like a gun metal, almost bronze. It's a gun metal. これ何色ですかねロールバーは。これガンメタですね。ガンメタ FD かなんかのガンメタのはずですね。確かなんか茶茶っぽいガンメタですね。ちょっと茶色入ってる感じですね。I'm excited to see what's under the car because the top of the car really looks so good. So it's probably going to be super cool. So let me go ahead and put it on the lift. All right, the car's in the air. Let's check out what's underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and start from the front. But when I was putting it up in the air, I just noticed that it's very clean and simple underneath. How often do you go to track? そうですね、月1か3か月に2回ぐらいですかね。So the car looks like, I mean, he's been to the track a lot. There's a lot of modifications. He has a sway bar up front. And also, あっあっあっじゃあ気が滑りました。<笑><笑> so he has the、uh, subframe that was modified where the steering rack is moved forward. For it to avoid、um, the steering going over center. And he also has the Heyman Knuckles, the 1200 with the extended lower arms. And as you can see,、um, these IKEA Formula 
uh, tension rods and a TRD brace. And here's a dump pipe on the bottom of the car for the wastegate for his turbo kit. Suspension, he has uh, DG5s front and back. Uh, what rate springs do you run? 24kg. 24kg. Um, he has a standard R154 manual 5-speed transmission. Now he has this valve. This is an apex uh, exhaust valve where you could uh, uh, pull the wire from the inside of the car and it closes the valve and makes the exhaust quieter and um, louder since it is a street car. But what I want to show you after that is this crazy, crazy exhaust layout. It's like a maze. もうこれちょっとどうなってるんですかこれどうなんのどうなってるのかちょっとわかんないですよこれ一応えっとこっどっちだこっち側のパイプが、まあ、なるべくストレート構造で後ろまで行くとでもう一本のこっちは今のストレ
All right, so I just got done driving this car. I fell back in love again with the JZX chassis. Thank you so much for coming out and bringing this beautiful car out and letting me drive it. <laughs> I really, really need to get a street car, but hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for checking this out. And also, don't forget to click into uh, Shout Rogue TV, which is his channel too. And if you can look into the car, his specs are out there. Uh, a lot of exciting things he's doing too. But until I see you guys next time, make sure you stay safe, stay home, and peace out.